Hi, this is Grandma from Grandma in a Box, and I want to share with you project number three of our upcoming February 2020 um, Grandma in a Box. Now, February is always a Valentine theme, and project number three is always cookies and frosting and sprinkles. So let me show you what you're going to need from your box. First of all, you're going to need your three packages of frosting, and you're going to need a pair of scissors so you can cut off the tip. And I always like to test the tip and make sure there's enough flowing out like that. That's really what you want to see. Then you can unpackage your cookies. We have two plaques, four small hearts, and two big hearts. Then all of your leftover sprinkles from project one and two, including leftover can conversation hearts, if you would like. Now I'm gonna just do a couple of hearts really quick here. I'm gonna show you a fun technique using a toothpick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some lines and it doesn't matter if it goes up and down or left and right. I'm just gonna draw a few lines here, this direction. Leave a little space in between and take your next color. And, and you can do this with two colors or you can do it with all three colors if you'd like. I'm gonna try and sneak some of that pink in there. I see a little bit of space there. Right. Now the cookie looks really cute this way. This would be a fun little Valentine cookie to give to someone, but I'm gonna show you a trick with the toothpick to make it even jazzier. So we're gonna take the end of our toothpick and we're gonna go across left and right and create this little chevron design. Then you can either leave the cookie just like this, or if you'd like, you can add a few little sprinkles just for fun. So there's one decorating idea. I'm gonna set that aside and give you an idea for your plaque here. Now the plaque is a really large cookie, so it's a great opportunity to write a message to someone. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is a border. And there's another technique I wanna show you when you're using sprinkles. I want you to dump them completely on this plate just go ahead and dump all of the sprinkles out onto the plate. And if you do use a paper plate, the nice thing is you won't make a mess all over the kitchen table. And if you just bend the paper plate, you can put the sprinkles right back in the container, all the unused ones for another project. Now I'm gonna just write a cute little message on here because this plaque is big enough. the letter I, and then the letter U. Do you know what I'm writing? Let's see if you can guess. And then I'm gonna take the red and draw a heart. That's right. So my message on this plaque is I heart you. And you know what would be fun too? Is to put a conversation heart right in the middle of that heart. Look at how cute that looks. I'm gonna show you a couple other ones that I did a little earlier today, um, just to give you some more decorating ideas. So that's it for project number three for the February Grandma in a Box. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can always check out my YouTube videos. Just search Grandma in a Box and uh, put in February 2020, and you'll see all the videos for this month. I hope you enjoy Grandma in a Box. I look forward to talking to you soon. Love, Grandma.